So we cannot get this pig to eat anything. I mean, he's barely picking on a little milk and Cheerios and some bread and milk, but... Drinking water. All he wants to do is nibble on her shirt. It's a crazy. <laughs> so funny. So if you guys are like a big part of the channel and you've been here for a while, you would realize that over the last few weeks, We've been really slow on uploading videos. It's not that we don't care, and it's definitely not that we're not working. It's just that we've had so much going on. Mama's pregnant. Aria's growing like a weed. We've got poachers on our property. We're building an outdoor kitchen. And now we've got a little pig running around the house. So we were actually out on the property, found an orphaned pig, and brought him home. His name's Lucky. And if you're wondering, Lucky is not going to become bacon. We're actually no, he's yeah. got a collar on. Yeah, we're actually going to raise Lucky up. At some point, we're going to have to cut him, castrate him, make him a little bar so he doesn't become real mean. And then hopefully we get him just to hang out and live around camp with us. But let me just show you guys a little bit about what we've been up to. Hang on. All right, you guys, well, we are heading out to camp right now. It's been a pretty hectic day. Tons going on. And we got tons more still to do. But uh, driving out to camp, I had some carpenters out here securing our porch because we're having an outdoor kitchen built. So as soon as we get to camp, I'll show you what we're up to. So what's your favorite part about camp, honey? Oh, my favorite part about camp? Being able to come out here whenever you want. That sort of sounds like a, a uh, line off of Sweet Home, Alabama. Is it? Why do you want to marry me anyway? Oh yeah, so I can kiss you anytime I want. Good line, huh? Driving into camp, got a bunch of shady oaks, Spanish moss, good old glory, American flag, and there's camp. So I had a uh, carpenter come in today and completely reinforce the integrity of the porch. Reason is, I've got a big double oven, it's going right there. We're gonna have a big six burner Viking range put right there. And then we're gonna have a grill that goes right here. It's gonna be great because we're gonna have LED lighting. The LED lights are gonna provide all the light we need so that we can get back to doing Tasty Tuesdays, which I know so many of y'all want. And out here, we all, I mean, we get so much wild game. Dove, quail, duck, deer, wild hog, alligator. I mean, the list goes on and on, and you know I'm not above eating a good steak. So, having the outdoor kitchen's just gonna be fantastic. Hey, hey, so yesterday we were out here, and I bought a handful of these Spartan cameras. We've been getting some, some poachers out here. I know that, that sort of sucks to say, but it's just the fact of the matter. We've got 3,300 acres, and some of our trail traditional game cameras we found people walking along the property that shouldn't be there so went out and got a handful of these some of them are meant for security others are meant to check the food plots and the feeders and what they do is they are connected by verizon wireless which is our carrier and anytime they take a picture they send us either a text message or an email so if someone's on the property or if there's a deer at the feeder we know all right, so this is one of our spots we call the Outback Stand. It's way back in this little pine flatwood area. Even during rainy season, it stays relatively dry. And I just want to get out of here. This is pretty much in the dead center of the property. And got the feeder. It'll be running twice a day, all year round. And I don't know what we've got. I haven't had a camera here in forever. So I'm going to put a, a little bit of this attractant just on the ground. Mm. It's got a nice, not, not sweet, but needs garlic. That almost tastes like oatmeal, like corn flavored oatmeal. Put this right here. 
Now this has never, this has never been on our property ever, ever before. So if deer come and eat it, I'm gonna be surprised. Put the rest in here. They recommend one of these bags per 50 pounds. But what I did, I just put 10 pounds on top of 150 pounds of corn. And as it spins, I feel like it'll just sift down, filter through, add the aroma, add the texture to the corn. And um, we'll see what happens. What do you think? All right, you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Me, Lucky, and Sarah, baby Aria, we're heading to the house. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a comment below, subscribe, hit like button, and let us know what you think. We love you guys. We gone.